If you want to know how I make my patterns from a logo design, I'll show you some recent ones I did for a client project. So the first project was for Sensei Pay. It's a, for a local client. They're in the um, finance technology space, which is cool. And I had this letter S, this icon. The final version did have a gradient, but for this version, I just used the flat color. And so here's my artboard. You can see all the designs, but I created this cool um, like diagonal uh, pattern with the main letter. So I'm just going to bring it over here. And what I want to show you is how I created this rotation. So all I did was grab the icon. I made sure that it was united together all the shapes so it's not grouped. I selected it and pressed R for the rotate tool and I hold it Alt and left click on the corner anchor point. So I put the angle at 90 and you can see it created this cool shape. It's got like this little um, star shape in the middle and then it's got the nice diagonal S's. You can see I didn't make it fully geometric and it's not fully square and that's fine. Um, so it does stick out on the edges, but I think it's, it's totally fine and it works. And this is what the pattern looked like. Now, what I did do is actually go to the pattern options and tighten it up a little bit. Usually I play around with like brick by row or brick by column. So it just depends on the vibe I'm going for and the look of the actual icon. And so I just tweaked it a little bit. You can see I was playing around with it, but I like to make it a bit more tight, so I just squeeze it in a bit, um, and yeah, and this is what the final, click on that pattern, and that's what like what it looked like, and I was super happy with it, and you can see just playing around with different colors in the background there, but overall, I think it was pretty good. Another client called Scalable, um, was for a consulting firm, small business, and I created this cool S shape, it sort of looks like a flag or a pathway, and I really liked this and you can see what I did is I stacked the, the S directly on diagonally. So um, what I did, you can see my smart guidelines there with the purple lines. I made sure that it snapped directly on the corner so the two anchor points actually meet. And so it gave it this cool like diagonal effect. Um, very Like again, this looks symmetrical. It looks very um, like clean. I used that and did the same thing. I went to object pattern make and it will create a swatch. And this is what it looked like. And all I did was just change the color. And you can see it's um, very accurate to the box because I lined it up. Obviously, I, you can play around with it. And I did do experiments, but I just liked the way that the S moved like this. And it created sort of this diagonal wave line. I ended up just leaving it like that and then just making the colors like yellow. So here's what it looked like when it had the different colors. Uh, I think the yellow really popped. I did play around with a couple different other sizes, but... It wasn't really working, so I just kept like this. Here was another option I did have as well, just more of a grid, um, simple grid box um, style. Um, but this one feels different be because I place it diagonally. And you can see what I did down the bottom here. I did a test on like a example of, you know, a presentation slide, what it looked like there. So I put like the, the pattern there and you can see I tested it with this one as well. It looked really good. And then I just made a clipping mask. Um, to make it fit and that's how I usually do it when I'm gonna do a mock-up or something like that and It turned out really nicely and this is how I usually do the patterns That's typically how I make a pattern from a logo. Sometimes I, I tweak it. It's a little bit different um, But I, I tend to use the icon as the main element for a pattern and I do it in Illustrator It's really fast really easy and that's how you can add more value to when you do a visual identity for a client I always add a pattern in there. It's just nicer and you can use it for backgrounds you know if you're printing on business cards anything really so if you do want to get some other logo tips in illustrator i do have another video here where you can see five tips i implement with every lego project